You are in the trenches. Tidesports.com, TuscaloosaNews.com, or you're in the outskirts of Birmingham in front of the home of Mr. Simeon Castile, one of University of Alabama's favorite sons. He prepares for the upcoming NFL draft. Will he go? Where will he go? We get some time to talk with Simeon about his emotions, what he's going through, some family history, some of the cul-de-sac. See you in the trenches, Tidesports.com. So, Simeon, here we are in the in the spot that you pretty much grew up, eighth grade on, correct? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, this is the house. Uh, shoot. <laughs> you know, it's always fun inside there. I mean, I got five brothers and sisters, and, uh, I mean, there's always something going on. Sure. So, uh, it was, it's fun uh, growing up here. Um, my high school's right down the street, mm -hmm. and, uh, man, I've enjoyed uh, being here in Birmingham. Cul de sac. This must have seen a lot of action down in the day when it comes to some touch football games. Oh, uh, yeah, man. You got the basketball hoop basketball up. Basketball goal up. Competitive with your brothers and sisters? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, man, we were just out here playing horse the other day. <laughs> my, uh, with me, one of my uh, sisters, Rachel, yeah. she's a senior in high school. Uh, my girlfriend was in town, and then my dad drove up in the middle of a game, and he's out here in his khakis and golf shirt uh and he wants to get in so Who won? uh i did <laughs> i really did i'm not just saying that uh but i won but uh you know we always have fun uh, and shoot man my whole family is competitive boy we're playing board games athletics it really doesn't matter we just i guess like to compete now we were just talking about you just tell me about your dad and, and your brother so you know this this bloodline there of athleticism and you know I mean my dad he played at Alabama uh, played six years in the league and my brother was a rookie last year uh, with the Cardinals and uh, the draft is coming up for me and mm -hmm. you know I, I just feel like you know it's my turn <laughs> and so uh, I mean I'm just excited man it's an awesome feeling and you know just of work I mean pretty much you know my whole life to uh, get get to this point, and now it's you know finally here, pretty much, and um, I'm just excited about it. And you know I get to fly out to uh, San Diego tomorrow uh, to meet with the Chargers and their staff, and I'm just excited about that. And um, you know I'm just soaking up the whole experience. Yeah. It's just it's crazy, you know, because you know you grow up watching NFL, uh, the NBA, and Major League Baseball, all yeah. that stuff, and now you know. I'll be one of those guys that, you know, kids are watching and um, actually getting paid ridiculous amounts of money <laughs> just to play a game. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, it's just awesome. I just uh, thank God that, you know, he's um, given me the ability that he has and the family that I have to support me and um, just uh, fulfill my dream. So I'm excited about it. So you grew up in Alabama. You're an Alabama football fan. Oh yeah. You know, and you, you you go to high school and playing football. It's did you was it like no doubt? Hey, I gotta play at Alabama. There's nowhere else. Other other schools talk to you, or was it no brainer? Nah, it really wasn't. Because I mean, just because I mean, my brother he played varsity football ever since he was in eighth grade, <laughs> and I mean he was basically like a legend in Al uh, the state of Alabama in high school football, and you know me being his younger brother. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are like, you know, how was it um, being in his shadow and all that kind of stuff. So really when it came to my senior year, I was thinking, man, I might not want to go to Alabama. I might want to just go off and do my own thing yeah. and uh, start somewhere else. But, um, I mean, <laughs> I really couldn't get away from Alabama. I mean, I um, was thinking about LSU uh, yeah. really hard. If I, if, um, I hadn't gone to Alabama, I probably would have went there. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I can actually remember Coach Saban coming to my house, <laughs> sitting in my living room, you know, and us talking about um, me playing at LSU. Yeah. And, um, you know, I ended up signing with Alabama, and I still ended up getting to play for him. <laughs> so yeah. that was kind of cool. But, um, you know, I did think about um, going somewhere else, but uh, when it came down to it, I just knew I, I needed to be at Alabama. Looking across the middle, Attaboy. the ball is deflected, intercepted by Castile. Castile left side 20, 15, 10, 5, down the left sideline. He's in for the touchdown. 
him to Simeon Castile, who in his first collegiate football game comes up with a pick and a touchdown run back. Throughout that that career, a lot of changes in that in that in that system. Yeah. Um, so, do you look back on that as, you know, it, it was a little bit of, uh, you know, it, it wasn't as smooth of a ride as you might have wanted it to be. You look back finally and say, yeah, it was a good run. I went through a couple of coaches, had some good experiences. Yeah, oh, definitely. I mean, no doubt it wasn't, you know, what, you know, you would picture it uh, to be. Um, but I wouldn't change it. Uh, I'm definitely glad that I went to Alabama, and I mean, I just uh, had a great experience there. I mean, it's, playing for Alabama is like <laughs> no other place, and anybody that plays for Alabama can tell you that. Just being close to my family and my dad being a the chaplain there and always, um, you know, getting to see my family and just being 45 minutes away um, had a big impact on me going to Alabama. Big guys are in. The jumbo set. Johnston in motion. Backs in the eye. Handoff. Castile walks it on in. Touchdown, Alabama from one yard away. So it is now one touchdown for each brother. Being able to play with my brother was also something that uh, was really special to me because, you know, a lot of people don't get to do that. Mm -hmm. um, me and my brother have been playing together since high school. And then on through college, and, you know, those are some memories that, you know, I'll never forget. So draft weekend, what are your plans for NFL draft weekend? I'll be right here chilling. <laughs> uh, are you nervous? I mean, what's, what's it like in, in, you know, inside? Uh, not really too nervous about it because there's really nothing I can do anymore. <laughs> you know, I've done all the combines and pro day, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I mean, I've just been praying. You know, hopefully God will bless me, and, I mean, he already has me just getting to this point, and, um, you know, hopefully I'll just end up somewhere uh, not too cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you're saying, you know, like, if you, Belichick gives you a call, you're oh, like, wait, wait a second. Don't worry. I'm playing wherever, <laughs> wherever. they want me. Green Bay Lambo. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out there playing <laughs> in the snow. Uh, but, you know, if I had it, you know, the way I want it, I wouldn't want to play somewhere where it's freezing. <laughs> Do you have a favorite NFL team? Um, you follow growing up Atlanta a little bit or? Not really. I mean, my dad played for the Bucks, mm -hmm. and I've always liked them and the Broncos. Um, you know, so I, I've always tried to keep up with those two teams mm -hmm. just because, you know, um, when I was growing up, that's who my dad was playing for. So yeah. that's who we rooted for. What was that like, sitting down as a little kid and watching your dad on, on the TV? It playing, was, I mean, it was football. fun. I was, um, very young when he played in Tampa, so I don't remember too much uh, about Tampa. But um, in Denver, man, it was fun. Um, just you don't understand. Like we were very small, and man, it was it was snow. We built snow tunnels <laughs> in the snow and all that kind of stuff. And um, going to the games, it'd be freezing. But um, you know, it was just an experience that a lot of people don't get to do. It is intercepted. The third of the night for Jeremiah Castile. I mean, a lot of people can't say, you know, my dad played in the NFL for the Broncos. Yeah. And because uh, that's a nutty place that to play football too. That oh, fan yeah. base is crazy. Oh yeah. So oh, what yeah. years were that? Was that was that the 80s? Yeah. They, the so, year um, they went to the Super Bowl. 85. Uh, -uh it was 87. Um, Washington was it? Mm -hmm. Washington. They Doug Williams. Washington. Yeah, Doug yeah. Williams. They got drilled. They did get drilled, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, my dad actually, you know, caused a fumble for them to get to the uh, uh, Super Bowl in the uh, championship game. And um, so that was exciting.